Involving people with lived experience helps shape meaningful change. I'm Shona. And I'm Steve. And we're part of the National Suicide Prevention Leadership Group Lived Experience Panel. And we're going to take you on a journey to show you that setting up a lived experience panel isn't rocket science. Let's go. Firstly, if you need to think of setting up a lived experience panel, it is important to be clear what the panel will do and how its members will be involved. Absolutely, getting this right is important because leadership buy-in is critical for success. Before anything, you'll need to make sure that you have identified one or more people to coordinate the panel who are experienced and, if necessary, trauma-informed. One thing that's really important is managing expectations. Panel members need to fully understand what their participation is all about. Now you've done the groundwork, it's time to think about how to safely recruit people with a range of experiences. But please be clear about how you'll support the panel, managing expectations accordingly. A lived experience panel must be a safe space for people to share their stories if they wish to. But nobody should ever be under pressure to do so. When it comes to shaping plans, make sure the panel is involved from the get-go. The earlier they're involved, the better. Don't ask the panel to furnish the house. Let them build it. And bear in mind, you cannot rush the process. People need time to build relationships. Because when you work closely together, you generate better ideas. To make most of these ideas, take time to ensure the panel is involved throughout the work process. There should be more than one opportunity for input. When it comes to it, panel members will have given a lot of themselves, so be prepared to recognise that. We know a lived experience panel works. Because we sit on one of the first to be established in Scotland. And we're helping to develop change.